Hello and welcome back to um, my redstone tutorial. If you guys have seen my first couple of videos, that's basically my first redstone video, my second redstone video is all of that. And today I think I'm going to show you guys something fun that has to do with some of these things that I've showed you in the past. Alright, so I'm just going to go over here and set it to daytime. So let's try, let's try 100, there we go. Um, just burn all these mobs, burn you all, take you all out. I've, uh, figured out how to get the sound on, and it's not really lagging that badly right now, so I'm, I'm ha happy with that, but you guys should be able to hear this now. Uh, before, I was trying to see if you could hear these things constantly going on and then dying so you should be able to hear it now and there you go so now I'm, I'm gonna do something fun and my version of fun is like uh, making a lock uh, simple but a little bit complex for beginners but if you're not a beginner, then this is really easy for you. So I'm just going to start. Um, you can pretty much set this up however you want. I'm just doing it this way for right now because um, I need to set it. Sorry, I don't have a example for you guys, but um, I'll actually just do a four combo lock. Right now you can expand the combo lock as far as you want um, which I usually do a six combo lock because I have lots of friends who like to come into my chests and steal whatever I have so this is usually what I do on all my servers. So now what you want to do is you want to get some buttons instead of levers and I'll just switch out these blocks Ooh, oops. so that they are easy to see take out the middle ones and there you go so now we just pop the buttons down alright so we have a wall and everything else right here so alright so now what you want to do is you want to get your power source and just plop that down and that is your power source for this whole lock that one little torch and I'm just gonna do that place a repeater in front of that and then a repeater right there so now what I just did well, actually, I'll do this first. Alright, so now what I just did is um, I hooked this up. So this power source cannot be turned on or turned off. But it can, once you activate this piston, this block will push forward and the current will be sent through. See, now with the buttons, it'll be pushed forward and pulled back. So the current isn't always going through which is good so now I'm just gonna I'm gonna do an easy passcode probably one two three four just to make it easy for you guys but you can definitely switch up the order so just make this go a little bit further now as you'll see power went through here powered the piston I don't know if you could see that, but do it now. Power that. You should have been able to see that then. And then what you do is you make a little thing that is huh. Alright, so I'm I'm pretty sure get out of here. pretty sure you just do this yeah yeah that's right and then you come around here 
and that's all you really need for the first one um, you're gonna need to do basically one of these again right here and plug that in now what these pistons are for is there for the reset button and the reset the reset button is right here so you just plop down your redstone I'd recommend doing this because there you go so the these are always on so you always want power cycling through these things see I'll show you now once they get power power goes through here and then pumps all this stuff up and because this block is here there is always power remove this block with the reset button power goes out and then you just wanna come over here um, I'd recommend probably about right here put that right there and start up another one of these little tiny repeater things circuits little piston circuits right there and now what this gap is for is you're gonna put one of those right here to power this again so I'm just gonna hook this up to number two um, do it this way there we go hooks that up to number two and I'll plug in the reset button here The unfortunate part of this thing is it, it uses a lot of repeaters, but um, it is very good if you want to keep people out of your things. So, as you can see, cell 1 is now powered, and the power goes up to right there until you activate number 2, which is then giving power to this. So you really don't need this one anymore, but um, you do at the same time, or well you don't. You can hit the reset button, but see now the reset button will pull both pistons back, so both will lose power. It's like levels. So see now that that doesn't have power, if you come down here and press the button, nothing happens. Now you just uh, do this again. You can make this a little bit more compact. I'm just making it um, more spread out so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Um, pretty much. I hope you guys like this video. Because um, I definitely did the first time I saw it. Um, I can't remember the first person who made this but um i'm very happy that he made it so i was able to learn and then put it into this video so how do i want this um actually i'm just going to make it go up that's the tricky part this is the only tricky part about this thing is that you need to get the redstone to these pistons but it's not actually that hard there we go so now that powers that one I will demonstrate to you again just make sure the reset button is done passcode 1 gets power to that 2 is pressed and power goes to that one, 3 is still off. Now 
as you can see if you hit four nothing would happen obviously but three power goes and you're good and then we're gonna get four hooked up for you right now and I've already shown you guys pretty much actually I'm gonna hit the reset button right now cuz I don't want to uh... alright I don't want that um power going through this just yet just hook up another reset piston quickly there we go hook up another number four piston right here which is simple because I left enough space when you get into like the six combos and seven and eight it gets really compact and you have to do a lot of redstone work but that's fine so now everything is hooked up as you can see piston 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 oh sorry um now one two three four and they all have power so now at the ends you just drag it down I'm not gonna do it that far I'm gonna do it this alright and I'm going to take it down this way back towards where the door would be now this this would be all underground so it doesn't get in the way now what you're gonna do right here is go this way one and then you're gonna build a um and gate I'm pretty sure that's what this is called I'll just take away that for a sec so this is an AND gate, and once on. I'm gonna do this really quickly. Uh, where's the door? There it is. Get a door plop down right there, and. Get this redstone coming up into a button that's right here. Alright, so what I'm going to show you is none of these things have any power. So um, what an AND gate does, and like I said, I'm not sure if this is an AND gate exactly. I'm almost positive it is. Actually, I'm just kidding. I am positive. This is an AND gate. So now what this does is, um, once the passcode is in, and this gets, this last circuit gets power, the power will go all the way over here and hit this block now this block will have power so it will shut off this redstone thing but once you do that let's just do it quickly for demonstration this will still be off so you're gonna need an act um, an activation button which is this button that I hooked up for you guys so once you click this button, the redstone will go through here and turn this one off. And then that one will turn on, because none of this will be off. This this will be off, which will turn this one on, which will open this door. There you go. That is my um, simple but easy um, passcode lock. I did the room 
thing very badly. This should have been over there more, but that's alright. You can just fill in the uh, insides. Now, if you're if you're afraid that someone might still come in, this looks horrible. But if you're afraid someone might still come in and steal your stuff, just carefully knock out this wall. I guess you can do this too, and this. And just load this with buttons, and no one will guess your password. Because only you will know. There you go. Um, now, what this reset button does right here is... I've already shown you guys, but this power is always logged in to this thing. So, if you, if someone comes by, they can just click on the button and walk through, because that one, all you have to do is shut off that one. So the reset button is, if you leave your house or something, click the button, everything goes away, that one turns on, doesn't open, because you're only turning off one. So, this is a very, um, good... Uh, lock, I think. It's very secure. You can have way more than just four numbers, and it, it can be in any order. Like, I can switch it up and make four be this one, and, like, one be the last one, or I can do whatever I want. But, this is how you make it. Again, well, I mean, I just showed you, but... Button goes through there, hits piston, you always want the source on, powers this, which will come over here, and then the next button will come over and power this, which will send power into this, and then the next button will just do the same thing, and then the reset button is simple, you just click it, pistons come back, power goes out. And there you go, don't forget, you need this AND gate, or else this door won't work. I guess you could. You don't have to use this AND gate. You could just put in the passcode and open the door directly. But the AND gate is helpful. Um, remember, don't put this button right next to the door or, or you'll just open the door anyway. So You can also have a button just right here to open the door after. So you can open it from both sides and it's handy I like it and I hope you guys did too thanks for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll make some more videos of cool designs maybe a uh, piston elevator that is pretty simple to make I will see you guys next time